Let me tell you a story about David Kent, because um, I think Frank alluded to it earlier this morning in his presentation about the competitiveness of wholesaling, how people sort of, you know, the dynamics are beautiful. Right? Now, when Frank talked earlier this morning about wholesalers, you know, really, you know, evaluate themselves against other people, right, that's me. Right? You know, that, that's where, you know, if you're a competitive spirit, you know, you're always looking at, looking at that. Right? So, about 13 years ago, Dave and I were working this company. And that's where I met. And I'll have to tell you, that I never get met a guy, any 26 years of who was more prepared, more focused, more absolutely committed to excellence at any moment in time than this guy. Right? Excellence out of this guy, okay, was the end result of hours of preparation on message, on getting presentation skills, on purity, on commitment, on mental and physical. Okay? And in, in 26 years, the only guy who ever got up in front of her, right, versus hundreds of other guys that saw come before me, I'd be like, yeah, I got it. 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 This guy gets up and I'm like, I'm not so sure about that. I don't know if I have it. I, I, I don't know if I can take this. Guy. Okay? And, um, and you watch him in front of her. You watch how he interacts You watch how he interacts with him. You watch just the level of commitment to message and delivery and integration and interaction. This guy's a problem. All right. Um, I'm really pleased you can be here with us. Join us. Let's give it up for this guy. That very, very generous comments, and uh, you know, I, I work hard at what I do. It's always nice to get recognition. We want to welcome you all here. It's, it's really you know, a privilege to be here, to share some ideas on practice management. And now, before we begin, however, how many of you here are basketball fans? Are there any basketball fans? Have a couple of you. Then, then you might remember a guy by the name of Allen Iverson, ring the bell? Philadelphia 76ers, storied career with that franchise player. However, a few years before he retired, he was accused of not practicing hard enough, of not making the people around him better. You might remember this clip. Lori, that's what I need, Lori. We just talk about practice. We sitting here, I suppose to be a franchise player, and we in here talking about practice. I mean, listen, we talking about practice. Not a game, not a game, not a game. We're talking about practice. We're talking about practice, man. I mean, how silly is that? And we're talking about practice. But we're talking about practice, man. What are we talking about? Practice? We're talking about practice, man. <laughs> we're talking about practice. We're talking about practice. We ain't talking about the game. We're talking about practice, man. So what do you think we're here to talk about, folks? We're here to talk about practice. Not the game, practice. Because if you think for a moment that you don't play like you practice, then think again. Because you're sorely, sorely mistaken. It's all about practice. It's all about fundamentals. What I like to call simple disciplines. It's the blocking and tackling. It's the shooting, passing, and dribbling. Those are, in fact, the fundamentals. Now, why is it that when we become successful, we stop doing the things and practicing the things that got us there in the first place? Maybe you're not as successful as you want to be. Again, it's all about practice, about fundamentals. Make no mistake, folks, a lot's going to be expected of you this year and moving forward. Because to whom a lot is given, a lot is expected. And you're going to be given a lot. Major resources, major finances going into this organization so that you can go on the road and make a ton of money telling a brand name story. But in return, a lot is going to be expected. It's what I call the new normal. You might think of new normal as high volatility and low interest rates. Well, that's, that's Allianz's new normal. This is the mutual 
of Omaha new normal. And we're talking about who? We're talking about how many? How much? Which firms? Who are you calling on and why? How many appointments a week are you having? How many proposals a month are you writing? How much business are you bringing in the door? Which firms are you calling on? There are four major firms that cost an awful lot of money to be on their platform, but yet we're not calling on them. Who are the four firms? One of them I know we're close to me, but, but who are those major four firms that we should be calling on that we're not? We don't know. How about LPL? How about Commonwealth? How about Raymond James? Soon to be UPS? Fortunes to be on those platforms, but yet they're not being called on. Why is that? Things are going to change. We're talking about a new normal here, aren't we? Here's what else we're talking about for a new normal. 5, 20, 240, 40, 40 to 60, 400 plus. We're talking about five proposals a week, 20 month. That's 240 proposals in a year. I understand you closed one out of six. That's 40 plans in a year. What's the average plan size? I understand it's about a million, million and a half. We're talking about 40 to 60 million dollars. Where's that going to put you income wise? You can run those numbers. My calculation says 400K plus. How many of you in this room made $400,000 last year? Is that worth fighting for? I think it's worth fighting for because you're going to have to fight. Make no mistake about it. You're going to have to fight if you're going to succeed in the new normal. Fighting is going to be critical. How bad do you want it? If you're not willing and ready to fight, I have a question for you. Why are you here? If this is your hobby and you're not a true professional, why are you here? If you're a cheerleader and not a true business coach slash consultant, then why the heck are you here? My name is David Kay. President of K Consulting Group, where we deliver powerhouse presentations that get results. I spent the prior five years as director of seminar systems with Jackson National Life. We brought turnkey marketing to successful advisors all across the country, helping them grow their practices. I spent nine years carrying a bag as a wholesaler, seven years as a producer and financial advisor. So trust me, I've seen it all. And I absolutely know what it takes to be successful. You're going to have to fight. How bad do you want it? Let's start this morning by trying to identify some of the things that you're, you're going to need to know, do, or be good at if you're going to succeed in the new normal. You just heard Frank Marcelli. You had an opportunity to hear me a year ago. Let's off a couple of things. I, I got 30 of them ready to show you. Let's see if we can name 10. A anybody. What are you going to have to do, know, or be good at to succeed moving forward? Anybody? Come on now, this is the interactive <laughs> part. Show me that you're professionals. Did anybody take notes listening to Frank? Look at your notes if you have to. I'm, I'll sit here and take my whole 45 minutes until we start answering. Good at listening. Thank you very much. What else? I want 10. That's listening. That's great. That's first on my list. Value add. Value added. That's two. Enthusiasm. Passion. Commitment. That's five. Five more. Discipline. Three more. Activity. Attitude. Have fun. We've got a little overlap. We could come up with 60 if we took time. But these are the simple disciplines. These are the skills. I have listening number one for a reason. You got passion, enthusiasm, belief. If you're from Frank, you'll hear it from me again. The successful advisors can smell fear a mile away, but they also smell confidence. They smell passion, belief, enthusiasm. If you don't believe in your company, your product, and what you're doing every day, why are you here? Simple disciplines, product knowledge. Not only do you have to know your product, you have to know your top competitor's products. We'll get there in a minute. Mental toughness. Stuff's going to happen. It's already happening. Not all of it's good. 
Just remember, it's not what happens to you that counts, but rather how you react to it. Mental toughness, simple discipline, storytelling, communication skills, critical. Preparation. 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 That's practice. That's how you practice. You play like you practice. If you're not preparing, if you're not practicing, it's going to show. PMA, you know what that is? Positive mental attitude. We don't want to be E or use Frank's terminology. Second set, team player. Zones, touches, rotations, pipeline. Oldest rule in sales is the pipeline rule. Trip marketing, retention, integrity, character, intelligence, awareness, mental, social awareness. If you can't read how you're being received by an advisor, you're not aware. We have Great questions, rapport, database management. If you think you're going to wing it, not track this stuff, you're crazy. You'll never succeed unless you have good database management. Tracks your touches, tracks the personal information that you need to know about every client, every prospect. If you're not tracking and asking these questions, you're making a big mistake. It says you don't care, and you're going to get caught every single time. Proactive versus reactive, commitment, excellence, caring, goals. We could list another 30 if we if we basically sat here and tried hard enough. But everything that you said and everything that I've listed here fits into one of three classifications. And that's why we're going to talk about three things today. We're talking about territory. We're talking about relationships. We're talking about your message.